Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. Back with more cool and unique camp locations for you. You know, locations that have structures, that sort of thing. All that good stuff. Starting off with the forest, we've got kind of a concrete bunker going on. But this isn't meant to be a bunker. This is more of either like a water purifying plant or a generator or some such nonsense. I don't know. Not important. What's important is you can camp here if you want, but be warned, Scorch spawn in here. I haven't seen anything else spawn here. I've always seen Scorch, and I think there's normally four of them. I don't know, somewhere in the three to five range. So you would have to deal with them repeatedly. Now there is a fair amount of junk and. A little bit of containers to loot here and there. But I felt like I really did need to show it because you can camp here and it is pretty freaking unique. But the massive downside is you're going to have those enemies in the heart of your camp if you're trying to take advantage of the concrete building. Not to mention you got, you got a few more scorched down the road. But, if you want to do it, you'll find it right here. Conveniently located. Kind of like bottom middle of the forest. Now, let's go to Toxic Valley. Where I have an extremely simplistic camp with a sadistic purpose. Hmm, what would that be? So we got a wood pile, a tent... Not a whole lot to loot here, but if you look right there, there's a recipe hidden on the table. Can't even tell it's there. You just see what looks like a crappy book. But if you look at all the fuel right there on the ground, and you got a cooking station, it makes me think, hmm, what you got to do? You got to get one of your friends to come with you. Be like, hey, I, I want to show you this this location real quick. You, you come with me. Once you get them there, you'd be like, hey, can you can you cook something for me real quick? Uh, I'm starving. And as soon as they hop on it, the cooking station explosion. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's how it would work, but it would be funny, and you know it would be. Your friend might not think it's funny. In fact, you might not have a friend afterwards because you just blew them up. But you'll find it right up there. Not horrible. Let's move on. Now to the ash heap. And I really enjoy this location. This is like the jewel for the entire video. It's the best thing. So you've got basically an entire little town right here that you can camp at. Which means you're going to have a fair amount of stuff that you can pick up. Which is awesome. This first house... It kind of bums me out that it's half destroyed, but I'm not really going to complain because you'll get the destroyed house and you'll get a complete house a little bit later. Now, when I remember to, I'll turn around and we'll jump upstairs because there is a little bit up here. So you got a container up here. You want to play tic-tac-toe? I mean, I'm pretty sure... Circle lost. It's a lost cause for Circle. Okay. Anybody else think that that picture survived uh, and is in way too good of a condition for it being exposed to the elements? Or is that just me? It was a cute deer, though. Which makes me think, why can't we have little desktop photos in our camp? It'd be cool. Now, the second house here... It kind of sucks because you can't go inside it. Not a whole lot going on that you can loot. But this house over here. It's got a nice little sidewalk going up to the house. You got you some pumpkins outside, patio chairs. This is a house you can take advantage of. So, I feel like it's a little, little cluttered inside. But you still got a little bit of room to work with. Not a lot, but a little. Head in over here. 
you'll have a bathroom. I mean, look at that. You got a full setup bathroom ready to go. That's a, a fairly big bathroom compared to uh, some places. And the fridge doesn't seem to work, so that's kind of lame. You do get a swing set out back, all right? And we know how important that swing set is to you. All right, you're going to need that. Back inside the house, though, you can get up here. Look, okay, you get that little area back there that you can put whatever you may want. Okay, maybe not whatever you may want. Some items are just too dang big. All right, you can't be putting the red rocket sign in there. It's not allowed. You do have a nice little spot right here with the scarecrow on display. And then we have another fake house, which definitely sucks. But, you never know. I mean, I haven't camped here. But, you may be able to cheat your way into the houses. I, I'm not... I'm not ruling that out. That could be a possibility. Now, I haven't seen any enemies spawn in that area. I've been through here multiple times. I haven't seen enemies, so that is huge. And it is close to the Charleston Fire Department, so you can take advantage of that vendor being near your camp. Overall, I feel like that's pretty darn solid for the Ash Heap. Now to the Savage Divide. Well, we're going to keep it simple, because that's the way I like it. All right, not everybody wants all the flashiness. Some people just want, like, a little picnic area at their camp. And you see the beaver right there. I'll let you know that I've came here a few times, and it seems like the, the spawn for this area pulls from the animal spawn. So, about the worst you should see spawning here is going to be animals. You shouldn't have ghouls and stuff like that spawning. Which means you should have a regular source of food spawning in at your camp for you to murder. And then eat. Because that's how we do it. Now, I know there's not a whole lot here. There's only two containers. A trash can and a food container. But, I don't know. If you just want something simple and a regular source of uh, animals to... Uh, chop up and eat and all that good stuff this spot might work for you and it is located right up here you're not horribly far away from the top of the world in case you need to go up that way and you're you're closer towards the side of being able to fast travel over to Biv if you're still doing his quest now to the mire and this location I, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Because I came here a few times. And of course we got cooking station. Not important. But I came here a few times. And somehow I always forgot what enemy spawned until it was too late. I'd be making my way up the tree. I'd go, alright, so we got a duffel bag. Nothing fancy. And then Wendigo. No, oh god. I was not ready for that. And then another Wendigo. Or at least I... I know I've always seen at least one Wendigo here. I think one time I came here, there might, may have been two of them. I mean, Wendigos aren't the most horrible thing ever. But when they just drop down out of nowhere and you're not ready for it... Surprise! Wendigo! So, it does seem like strictly Wendigos want to spawn here. That might be good, might be bad, I don't know. If you're trying to camp here, though, that might get pretty darn annoying. A little bit further down, you do have a, a crappy shed. Nothing worth noting. But I did get thinking about it. I was like, well, maybe maybe someone just wants to set up camp here to farm Wendigos. That, that's something they could do. So, if I can get unstuck. So we run back this way a little ways. There's going to be some water. So if you wanted to, you could set up your camp a little bit further back away from the little treehouse set up. And just use your camp so that you can farm the Wendigos over here. Just a thought. I don't know if you'd actually want to do that. But, I mean, it's cool. Unfortunately, you're going to get jumped by Wendigos. 
You'll find it right over here. Not in the best place in the world, but it, it could definitely be worse. Now, to the Cranberry Bog, where we're going to wrap it up with this. Yeah, uh, I'm really uh, not sure what to say about this other than there's some weird stuff going on out in the world. All right. You got some creepy gnomes, you got your teddy fear, and I have no idea the story of what happened here, other than a decapitated guy, that guy, axe, and wooden crate, and teddy fear. I think teddy fear had a lot to do with whatever happened here. Him and those the gnomes, they're all evil, murder and stuff. So that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back with more cool and unique camp locations next week. And as usual, you got to remember to like, sub, and share, people. All right? It's huge. If there's anything you want to see, please let me know. Later.